Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Finding Freedom, the book that was written by uh, Omid Scooby and Caroline Durant. So this is a book about the time Meghan Markle spent in the royal family and the debacle that ensued and also all of the burst up and the little disagreement that led to them leaving the country. People are questioning whether Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had something to do with the biography or had collaborated or had given an interview to the author, Omid Scobie. He said he hadn't spoken to them. He said that he met close friends of the couple, people that were surrounding the couple at the time they were living with the royal family. He interviewed many sources, yet still people don't believe that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have nothing to do with that. They are saying that it's too personal. There are too many intimate details that book has, which makes them believe that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry must have had some kind of talk with the, the writer or some kind of relationship or some kind of encounter with him and they say that it's way too personal. This is what I would say regarding that. I think that you can get personal stories from close friends. Meghan Markle might have disclosed how she was feeling while she was in the royal family to a good friend of her and that same good friend would have talked to Omid Scobie about that. It doesn't mean that she agreed, she okayed it. It doesn't mean that she wanted him to have that information. People around the royal family talk and they talk a lot. The same people will say that if she wasn't involved with the book, why didn't she sue Omid Scobie? Let me remind you that close to seven books were written about Meghan Markle this year and those books were not very positive about Meghan Markle, were very negative about her. She didn't sue either. So if she didn't sue them, why would she sue Omid Scobie? So why didn't the tabloid ask why she didn't sue Lady Colin, for example, who seems to know a lot about Meghan Markle, even if she hasn't met her, or even if she hasn't met any of her close friends. The person that she said to have met was Meghan Markle's nephew, who was only 10 years old when she left the family. I mean, it's just like going to talk to your 10 years old nephew you have never seen because he was living in a different state. I think it's so obvious that the media and all the Meghan Markle haters are biased. They want Meghan Markle to sue Omid Scobie, yet they didn't want Meghan Markle to sue Lady Collins. When you read all the comments on, for example, the Daily Mail and the Mirror, people were saying that Meghan Markle shouldn't sue Lady Collins because she's only writing a book. She's not just exercising her right to a freedom of speech. So how come freedom of speech doesn't apply for the book of Homid Scobie? Is this because it paints the royal family in a bad light? It paints the royal family as being snobbish, racist, and hopeful to people that are non white? So, so let me know what you think. If you like the video, feel free to click on like. Also subscribe for me for more videos and leave comments. Thank you.